Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series of microprocessor 8085. This is lecture number 11 and we'll be doing some 8085 instructions, study some instructions. In the previous lectures we saw the instruction set of 8085 can be divided into various categories. Uh, we'll see those instructions, some categories we'll study today. The very first category is uh, data transfer instructions. So there are many data transfer instructions. We will see few of them now. So data transfer means of course uh, there are various categories, various types. As we see the first type is this one move RD comma RS this instruction. So RD can be any register, RS can be any register. So this is of course a one byte instruction and it transfers the contents from the source to the destination like here we have an example move a comma b so this instruction transfers the contents from b to a then again move c comma d it transfers the content uh, the flag registers they are not affected by any of the data transfer now let's take example suppose if we have register a containing 3 and register B it contains suppose 5 and we write the instruction move A comma B so this instruction will transfer the contents from A. this we have A equal to 5 and B remains as it is 5 so it is a we can say a copy paste instruction not a cut paste, cut paste instruction so this is a one byte instruction next we see MVIR comma data data means 8 bit data so mvi means move immediate r can be any register this is a 2 byte instruction so this is a 2 byte instruction it transfers the this particular data byte into the given register like here we have mvi a 45 so 45 it gets stored in register a then mvi d 9a so 9a it gets stored in register d and so on so data can be anywhere because we are using hexadecimal notation so we are using hexadecimal notation so data can start from it can be 0 0 0 1 0 2 up to ff it can be any data byte so if we write this mvi a comma 95 h this h means it is a hexadecimal number so a will contain 95 because of this instruction so 95 gets stored in register A. So we can even write uh, like here MVIC B3H. So because of this instruction, the register C contains B3H. So this is what we have. This is the MVI move immediate. Then we have the halt instruction HLT. So this is a, actually a one byte instruction. So this instruction is used at the end of the program. Usually it is written at the end of the program to halt the system. So whenever uh, microprocessor encounters this halt instruction, it stops executing. Then we have next is NOP. Halt is also one byte. Okay, And NOP, NOP means no operation. This is a one byte instruction. So when this instruction is executed, the microprocessor enters a wait state. It waits for some cycles and then again starts executing the program this uh, no operation NOP is used to insert a delay there are some programs where we require some delay so this can be used to introduce delay of very short period or we can also use to debug the program to find the bugs in the program uh, and then next is IN in port number out port number we have already done this in the previous lecture but we'll repeat it again so in this is a two byte instruction and out is also two byte instruction so let us see this with, with an example if we write the instruction i n 15 h so this is a two byte instruction it uh, transfers the contents of this port um, port which is given by port 15 h into register a so many times we require to get the input from any of the peripheral or the output device so this in instruction it is used for that purpose to get the input from the output device so device whose port number is 15h the contents are copied into the 
accumulator register A. Then we have out. Suppose if I write output out 17H 17H. So this particular instruction it uh, it transfers the contents from register A to the port which is given by 17H. So this instruction can be used to direct the output to a output device from the accumulator. So these are some of the data transfer instructions. Now we'll do some programs based on this. So we'll see how to uh, write a program, how to execute it now. So here now we have a simple program where this write a program to store 12H in register A, 13H in register B. So we have to write a very simple program to write 12H to store 12H in register A, 13 register B. So whenever we are writing the program, we need to make four columns. The first column is the memory location, second is the mnemonics, third is the hex code, four is the comments. The memory location, as we know, in case of 8085, the memory locations they are actually starting from uh, 0000. The first memory location, then this is the second one, and so on. It goes up to FFFF. So, uh, when we buy a kit, we are supposed to do the practical on a kit. So, when we buy a kit, we are given some memory locations where we can write the program. So some manufacturers they give that they have started from 8000 so we have to write they, they give the specification that we have to write the program from 8000 so we have to use it from 8000 so we need to specify from where we are writing the code so it can be anywhere okay i am use, i am starting from 8000 in some cases we, some kids they start from c000 also so we have to check uh, before writing the program we have to check in the kit which memory locations are available so i'll start from 8000 so the very first memory location is 8000 I've written it now the first code is uh, I have to store 12 H in register A so I know this is actually MVI A comma 12 H so because this is a two byte instruction therefore I need to leave a gap and uh, next is I have to store 13 H in register B so this 13 H is to be stored in B so I write here MVI B comma 13 H and then finally halt so this is the program the program gets completed at 8004 actually i have made this for in general so when we are writing this program we need to only write up to 8004 and we don't need to write all the other memory location now the next step is to write the hex code so how to write the hex code for writing the hex code we have a hex code paper it's available uh, on the net and many software there are many simulators which provide this so I'll show the what is what is MVI what is the we need to write the code for MVIA MVIB halt so let us see the hex code so this is the hex code paper as you can see there are many op codes given these are the op codes for data transfer then arithmetic logic then branching and so on but now we are interested in how to, uh, the code for MVIA you can see this MVI is given here and here for MVIA the code is 3 for MVIB the code is 06 and so on so these are all the op codes for mvi instruction these are the for the move and so on so we just need two codes one is for mvi a which is uh, 3e and for mvi which is 06 so we'll enter the code so mvi a is 3e so 3 then 12 because the next data is 12 so we write 12 here now mvi b is 06 the code for mvi so mvi code will come here and the data next is the data is 13 now for halt HLT okay, so HLT is actually 76 we can find HLT here uh, it is it comes under this control operation here you can see HLT is 76 this is HLT so we enter HLT here okay this is the code HLT so this completes now we don't need to write the comments because the program is very small comments are required when the program is very very large maybe running into four four six pages or more than that so here we don't need to write any comments so comments left section is left blank now here when we how to execute this is how to write the program now when we want to execute the program we need a, a either the machine or the simulator okay so let us see uh, how to execute how to enter the program so in the machine what is required is i've just, I've just made four columns so this uh, we have to enter the memory locations this memory locations and the hex code into the system into the machine 
Mnemonics is for our self. That is, we have to. Uh, this is for our understanding. Mnemonics we are writing for our understanding. And in the machine, we have to enter the memory location and the hex code. Let us see how we do it. Now, for executing the program, we c we need to have a machine, 8085 machine, or we can even do on a simulator. I am using this simulator, Jubin's 8085 simulator, a very nice simulator. Uh, there are other simulators also available, but I prefer this one it works in two modes but the thing is for uh, executing this uh, for this particular simulator we need there must be java installed in your system so if, if java is not there this 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 simulator won't work so java should be installed now let us see how to write the program so the very first instruction is mvia mvia comma 12 12h then mvi b comma 13h and then hld these are the three instructions now after writing the instruction we need to assemble so i just assemble it okay but before assembling i must ensure that uh, i must go to the settings and set the memory range now uh, when you start it is 0000 so we have to set the memory range from 8000 because our program starts from 8000 so if it is 000 ensure that it is 8000 okay so then I uh, assemble the because I know this is actually starting from 80 so I come to this registers now I assemble the program now after assembly you can see 8000 whatever we had written it is it, it has come here so 3 12 0, 6 and all these codes we don't care what this actually this is given two bytes two machine cycles and seven t-states we are not inserted in how many bytes machine cycles and t-states we, we are just entered this 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 columns okay now uh, as you can see when we want to run the program which is starting from 000 by default is 000 we need to start from 8000 so i start from 8000 now there are two modes for executing one is step by step other is run all, all at a time when we use step by step it will give forward uh, forward with this forward mode so i forward means the first it will go to the first instruction okay now 12 gets stored okay now in the next okay uh, 13 gets stored here and then the program is halt because uh, actually uh, program has halted so here we can see the result uh, 12 gets stored in register a 13 register b so this is one of the mode i will show the second mode also Th that is uh, we go to this to to view okay view and 805 microprocessor kit mode we have to click on here and we get this particular as we can see i will just show it uh, this is what we get okay this is uh, when we click to that particular mode we have this uh, machine actually when if we had a machine 8085 system then this is the actually the interface okay now how to enter the program in this now next on, uh, on uh, now uh, now onwards we will do the practical on this particular kit only kit mode okay so how to execute first we go to reset okay and then set so first reset then set then we have to enter the memory location so it starts from 8000 so 8000 zero, zero, zero. now this opens up the address field now we have to enter this particular field this is a data field so i go to this inr now inr it is already 3 because i had already executed the program so it will come 3 okay if it is not 3 then we have to actually input the data 3 and then e so this e not any of this so here you can see 0 and a is come uh, 0 a 1 b so this a b c d on this particular key is for register that we'll see afterwards okay so this is 0 uh, sorry 3 then uh, inr press inr it will go to the next motion that's 1 2 12 then inr it is 0 6 you can check the code then inr 1 3 and then inr it is 7 6 we will go to try we will do inr one more time okay now this is how we enter the program now in order to execute the program what we do is reset okay then go okay press go now go our starting memory location is 8000 so we press 8 0 0 0 and then this is the execute now we execute now program has got executed now how to check the result so we go to reset okay and then you can see this reg i press on reg now to check the contents of register a so i press here a so a becomes 12 okay and then b, b b has become 13 so this is registered b and a and b this is how we check the result from from now, now onwards we will do the program on this kit mode now let us see another program we have a uh, writer program to store 15 h in register a 17 h in register b transfer the contents of a to c and b to d first we will write the 
program so we start again from 8000 the very first instruction is of course uh, we'll write uh, the first instruction is of course MVI MVI A 15H then MVI B is 17H 17H then now you have to transfer the contents uh, we have to transfer the this is get transfer the contents of A to C so you contain the transfer content of A to C so it is move C comma A so this C comma will transfer the contents of A to C and then you have to transfer the contents from B to D so here it will come move D comma B and then halt now we need to write the hex code we know the hex code for MVI A is of course 3 as we have written in the previous program this is 1 5 now MVI B is 0 6 and this is 1 7 now move C comma A uh, move C comma A we can see here move C comma A is 4 F and then we need move D comma B and it is 5 0 so 4 F and 5 0 so here 4 F and here we'll have 5 0 and then finally 7 6 so we have written the program now we use that particular simulator and we enter the code and we'll execute the program let us run now we enter the code so reset then set so it is 8000 so at 8000 we need uh, we I, I, I increment so this is actually 3e 3e we can also enter using the keyboard then 1 5 then uh, 0 6 then uh, 1 7 then I have uh, 4f then uh, 5 0 and at 8006 I have HALT so this is 7 6 okay. uh, actually uh, I forgot to write that op code for HALT so you please mention that code 7 6 and then this is the final H 7 6 then I take one more so INR means enter if you en press the enter key it is as good as INR and backspace is for DCR if you want to go to the back uh, check that code you can go DCR DCR okay. then after entering the code reset for now I reset because I have to execute the code so reset then go go to 8000 8000 and then I execute after executing I have executed the program now again reset I have to check the contents then uh, reg okay I uh, press on a so a is 15 because we, it, we have stored 15 b 17 and because I have transferred a to c so a is 15 so c should be 15 yes we are getting 15 and b is actually 17 so I press on d d is also 17 so this is how we execute a very simple program so that's all for this session I uh, advise you to uh, load this uh, this uh, download this particular application mobile apps are also available on android if you're using an android phone so many 8085 simulators are available in my next lecture i will demonstrate one of them thanks for watching